Hey guys, it's MJ and first of all, happy Valentine's Day. Um, as you can remember, we created our own decentralized application around romance and the blockchain. But I don't want to talk about that to, uh, today because first of all, there's like a million other people doing the exact same thing as me. And because I have found something else. So these are, these are the other guys and we're not going to talk about that. What I do want to do is come back and talk about CryptoKitties because someone has created a fairly interesting project and it's known as Crypto Sprites. And what I love about this game is that it's not building from the ground up. Instead, it's using the CryptoKitty asset in a different game. So what we're going to be doing in this video is testing it out. First of all, we need to come into CryptoKitty. So first thing we need to do here is unlock our MetaMask. Hopefully that was the right password. Um, okay, cool. We are we are in. So these are our our kittens. Now I just want to see. I think we do have one for sale, which is yeah, this little guy here. I just want to check if we've got. Hold on. I can I can order them. Yeah. Most expensive first. I don't think that did anything. That did not do anything. Anyway, let's click on this guy here. So we want to see if we can buy the spirit or the sprite of this kitten here. So we want to get that little code there. I guess we could also just have copied it over there. And here we go. Buy, sell, remove, or feature a sprite. So enter the ID of a crypto kitty. Okay, so what do we think this guy is gonna look like? I'm actually quite excited. Um, it says, oh, you can't buy your own um, sprite, but don't worry, don't worry, that's, that's not, this doesn't stop us. We just come on to Chrome. I think, are we online here with Chrome? Yes, we are online here with Chrome. So let's put it in here and it's still giving us the question mark. Um, has never been bought, however, it's a corresponding kitty for sale, and you can be the first to buy the sprite. Uh, your ETH will go to the current owner, blah, blah, blah. The avatar will also be a mystery until it gets bought. Okay, so we have to buy it to see what the picture is. So let's, let's buy this guy. Okay, waiting for transaction to be processed. Um, I wonder if that's going to be enough gas. Should we maybe, maybe put it as two. Okay, click submit. This is the one thing that does annoy me a little bit about MetaMask is that you have to determine the gas yourself. Um, and yeah, we're probably going to have to wait a while. Uh, until that goes through, which is not very good for the video. Uh, so we might do a little cut and then paste. Well, hey, at least we got the picture. Does that mean our transaction went through? Yes, it is. It is a success. Let's just refresh, make sure. Um, and look how cool that is. Okay. Let's take a look at our Flappy Bird Christmas edition, and we want to try and feature it. So look up information. We want to feature this guy, and let's increase the gas so that we go a little bit quicker this time, and let's click Submit. Okay. Let's see what happens. Sprites. And look there, now we are featured. So our, our little guy is, is now featured over here. That is pretty cool. Yep. Um, now what I want to do is try put this little guy up for sale. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here, um, into the price, let's sell it for 0 0.05, um, and say list this for sale. Uh, again, we're going to try increase the gas just so it goes a little bit quicker. I'm going to click submit and let's see how how this goes. 
Okay, cool. We can see that our Flappy Bird is now listed for sale. So let's try and purchase it. So we're gonna click here, buy uh, for 0 0.05 ETH. And let's maybe increase the gas just a little bit. Oh, not that much. And let's click submit. So we're spending 0.05 ETH on the little Flappy Bird. And let's see how that sale goes through. While we're waiting for that, let's maybe buy one more kitten. Well, one more Sprite for the kitten. Um, this one is selling for 0.12 ETH. So let's buy this bad boy. Let's wait for the transaction to come up. Increase the gas a little bit and click submit. So let's see what picture this one is. And I think, I think after we do this, we would have spent all of our um, ether. So let's wait and see what happens. Okay, cool. So the sale has gone through and we know that because if I come here, I cannot adjust the price. Um, and that is because we have sold the Flappy Bird. Um, but what we can see is that my other transaction went through and it's this one over here. So we have purchased this one and we know that we own it because we can see that we can adjust the price at the bottom here. Whereas if we say click on one of these other guys, um, we can't adjust. So that's how you know if you own one of these sprites. Now the game's still in beta and there's, you know, a lot of upgrades I'm sure they're going to make to the site. But what I really love about this whole concept is using the CryptoKitten's assets for a whole new game. And I think this opens the door to so many possibilities. How cool is it going to be when you can play a game on one site and that exact same asset can be used in a totally different game and it can really just revolutionize the whole gaming industry. So I'm really excited. Um, I think these guys are onto something big and I hope that you guys check out their websites. If you've got some spare crypto kitties and you want to you know, trade some sprites, then I'm gonna put a link to the description. I'm gonna put a link in the description below so that you guys can also check it out. But as always, thanks so much for watching. If you've got any comments, please let me know down below. Cheers, guys.